If you think about it, Jan 6 democracy and Trump's character is not policy. That's never even been tried in the history of presidential campaigns. Just like Bush ran on the war, Obama ran on the war, Obamacare and the economy. Trump ran on trade, immigration and ISIS. Biden ran on COVID. Biden's running on January. I mean, that's that's the riskiest campaign strategy of all time. And if you look at polling, polling doesn't change around June. It usually locks in right now. They must be freaking out and they're trying to get a little distance from this losing campaign. The Trump campaign is now reeling after a new poll was just released by Fox that shows President Biden is leading in the general election by two points. The new poll says that President Biden is the front runner. It says that the number one issue that voters think is important to them at the ballot box come November is the preservation and protection of our democracy. As you dig deeper into the polling results, you also see an 11 point shift from independence from the previous Fox poll. The previous poll had independence favoring Donald Trump by two points, and now has President Biden winning among independents um, by nine. This is also consistent with the data we've been sharing here at the Midas Touch Network in the Exodus series of videos that we've made where we have shared the stories of mainstream Republicans, mainstream conservatives, and independents who will no longer vote for the Republican Party and no longer vote for Donald Trump because the party has left them as they've, be as they've become too extreme and too MAGA. There's a lot of other polling data out there that is very favorable to President Biden as well. As our friend Simon Rosenberg just posted, uh, the Fox News has a three-point Biden gain in the general uh, election. Um, the Echelon poll has Biden gaining four points. The CBS YouGov poll has Biden gaining three points. The Morning Consult poll has Biden gaining two points. The Yahoo YouGov poll has Biden gaining two points. The New York Times poll has Biden gaining two points. As Simon Rosenberg says, the election appears to be changing now. Uh, let's dig into this Fox poll because as you actually look at the data also, the way this story's been written um, is definitely, definitely not going to go over well with uh, Donald Trump. Here's what it says. It says, President Biden is now the front runner in a hypothetical matchup against former President Trump for the first time since October. As positive views of the economy inch up, hitting their highest levels thus far in the Biden presidency, according to a new Fox Nation national survey. Since May, there was a three point change in the presidential race. Trump was ahead by one point last month, while Biden is up by two points today, 50 to 48 percent. That's well within the margin of error. Beyond improved evaluations of the economy, a range of other events since the May survey could influence small shifts in vote preference, including Trump's hush money conviction, Hunter Biden's gun trial conviction, a positive U.S. jobs report and Biden's immigration executive order. Biden's current 50% support is his best this election cycle. He hasn't been ahead of Trump since October 2023, according to this Fox poll. The key is that independents favor Biden by nine points, a shift from May when they prefer Donald Trump by two points. And then it says, while equal numbers of independents say leadership and integrity are extremely important to their vote, they are more likely to say Biden has integrity by 23 points compared to Trump being a strong leader by only 11. And so the traits and the character of the candidate is very important. President Biden is out with the following ad as well, calling Donald Trump a convicted felon calling Donald Trump an adjudicated sexual assaulter, going through Donald Trump's crimes. This is part of a $50 million ad spend by the Biden campaign. Let me show this to you right now. Let's play the clip. 
In the courtroom, we see Donald Trump for who he is. He's been convicted of 34 felonies, found liable for sexual assault, and he committed financial fraud. Meanwhile, Joe Biden's been working, lowering health care costs and making big corporations pay their fair share. This election is between a convicted criminal who's only out for himself and a president who's fighting for your family. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. In addition to that $50 million ad spend taking place right now in swing states of that ad you just saw, the Biden campaign has also been very strategic about its purchase of ads leading up to the November election. If you just take a look at this chart right here, almost all of the airtime has already been pre-purchased by the Biden campaign, and Donald Trump has purchased absolutely no airtime at all. So for the Trump campaign, which continues to brag without any proof in FEC reports about all this money they are raising, it certainly isn't being spent, but what certainly is happening, or at least it's certainly not being spent on the campaign, but what certainly is happening is more kind of ranting and raving and whining posts by Donald Trump. So right before that Fox poll, that poll po posted and published, Donald Trump posted the following. He probably got word about the bad poll coming uh, soon. So he decided to attack Fox. Donald Trump writes, nobody can ever trust Fox News. Donald Trump's post right there. He goes, nobody can ever trust Fox News, and I am one of them. With the weak and ineffective rhino, Paul Ryan on its board of directors, he's, uh, he's a total lightweight, a failed and pathetic speaker of the house, and a very disloyal person. Romney was bad, but Paul Ryan made him look worse. As a team, they never had a chance. Rupert and Lachlan, get that dog off your board. You don't need him. All you need is Trump. Make America great again. So Donald Trump calling the former Republican Speaker of the House a lightweight and a dog uh, and attacking Fox News and saying you can't ever trust them. Okay, and then Donald Trump is also attacking the uh, leader of the Freedom Caucus, Bob Good, who endorsed DeSantis instead of Donald Trump. And Donald Trump repeatedly posted that Bob Good is bad for Virginia. Bob Good currently trails a very uh, tight race in Virginia to a Trump endorsed uh, candidate, but Trump attacking someone who chaired the very far right wing uh, Freedom Caucus. So you have that's going on. And on the other hand, you have President Biden making posts that are just normal and sympathetic and compassionate. President Biden posting the following, today we honor the tireless work of abolitionists who made it their mission to deliver the promise of America for all Americans. Happy Juneteenth, while Donald Trump is ranting and raving like that. Um, in addition, we've been uh, reporting here about all the various stunts Donald Trump has been trying to do to uh, inflate his crowd sizes, to act like he was speaking at a black church in Detroit when he rented out a very kind of controversial black church embroiled in litigation, but filled it with white congregants, not the actual black parishioners who show up there. They were wearing hats and chanting Donald Trump's name. Donald Trump continues to make posts like this with Jesus holding his shoulder and the Constitution hugging him. Donald Trump's changed the national anthem. It's now sung by the J6 choir. Donald Trump says that the January 6th insurrectionists are uh, heroes and they are hostages and they are patriots and that he wants to release them. Donald Trump is also attacking business executives and shareholders who don't support him and says that if you're a business leader and don't support him, you deserve to be fired is what he says in the post. Um, but you got MAGA, this is kind of the, the new face of the Republican Party, rappers like Forgaccio Blow and others. So th this is 
the this is how, what the Republican Party is now kind of transformed into. Let's play this clip. Never seen support for any president like this ever, right? Donald Trump has the most support out of anybody. I mean, Donald Trump is almost bigger than you know the Philadelphia Eagles, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I mean, his brand is humongous. And here you see the kind of people on the line who wear Trump flags and Trump's face on flags. Some weird behavior right there. But, um, you know, look, one of the things we said is that uh, I think that the conviction of Donald Trump, in addition to the fact that Trump's a convicted felon, I think it was a major turning point where people are now focused and paying attention on the race. I really just, I mean, I think that lots of people were paying attention, but I just think there was a great deal of people who weren't really focused that this was a presidential year. They're not focused on politics, but now clearly their attention is turning to this and they see a ranting, raving lunatic convicted felon, adjudicated sexual assaulter in Donald Trump. And in President Biden, they see someone who's compassionate and, um, you know, and, and, and is doing a good job. <laughs> I mean, the MAGA Republicans and Fox can make all these comments about they want and create a American carnage and dystopia that simply doesn't exist. But America's leading the world right now in mostly all good positive metrics. Anyway, we'll keep you posted, but a big, big poll right there. And again, I'm not, I don't love sharing polls, but I think it's important because that's all Donald Trump is running on. His whole thing is big polls, big fake crowd sizes. And he, he's not getting big polls anymore, which is not happening. Anyway, hit subscribe. We're on our way to 3 million. Thanks to your support. Thanks for watching and have a good one. Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at MidasTouch.com newsletter.